just coming now, so everything should be fine. Yes. All right. Um, cool. So uh, I'm Jacek. I'm from Szczecin, Poland, uh, and I'm going to talk about uh, SDR mobile uh, activity. A uh, quick outline of the presentation. I'm going to talk about uh, project, project goals, uh, some uh, benchmarks we did uh, for Android. Um, I'm going to tell you how we implemented the uh, NOAA decoder, uh, which shows uh, APT transmission for, for, uh, for this. And I'm going to show you some uh, artifacts uh, that uh, were the result of the project. So, um, the goals of the project. Uh, so, with the uh, rise of um, cheap uh, uh, SDR devices and uh, with the rise of uh, computing power um, of uh, mobile phones, uh, we wanted to check whether we can uh, combine the two and uh, check if uh, uh, performing uh, SDR uh, um, uh, processing on mobile phones is uh, possible. Uh, we wanted to check whether uh, there are libraries we, that we can use for this. Uh, we wanted to do some uh, benchmarking uh, on the mobile device. Um, uh, then we wanted to uh, create some uh, reusable uh, DSP components, uh, kind of in the fashion of uh, GNU Radio, although we didn't have uh, enough time to uh, develop full uh, uh, GUI interface for this, but. Uh, the idea was to have uh, some composable uh, components that can be uh, moved around and swapped and uh, enable you to uh, create your, your specific uh, uh, processing pipeline. Uh, and then finally, using the components, we wanted to uh, create a, um, a pipeline for uh, NOAA uh, APT transmission, the modulation and the coding. Uh, right, so uh, jumping straight straight into uh, benchmarks. Um, we did uh, three benchmarks of the um, most common operations performed for SDR uh, processing. Uh, one is uh, convolution, for which we uh, implemented um, uh, convolution uh, or FIR filters uh, both in JVM, uh, we used Kotlin for this, and uh, using the NDK uh, uh, so, uh, native de development kit uh, on Android uh, to test those, uh, and those are the results for um, for convolution, uh, where we tested the FIR filter with different lengths, and as you can see, uh, uh, that uh, mm, uh, NDK uh, implementation was around twice as fast as uh, JVM, uh, which is perhaps better visible on this uh, slide, where you have the um, uh, ratio distribution of ratio of uh, NDK uh, samples per second by JVM uh, samples per second for the same FIR filters. So you can see that most of the uh, filter uh, for for most most uh, filter lengths uh, the uh, speed advantage of NDK was uh, in the factor of two uh, for uh, for convolution. Uh, right, then for uh, the second uh, most common uh, uh, operation, FFT, we used uh, actually at this point we didn't uh, implement FFT yet, so we used uh, external uh, libraries. And for JVM, this was uh, JTransforms uh, library, which is very uh, commonly used uh, Java uh, implementation FFT, a pure Java implementation without any uh, external dependencies. Uh, and for uh, NDK, we use the FFTW implementation, which is uh, also a very popular implementation for C, C++. Uh, and also here you can see that, uh, that uh, NDK was uh, around twice, twice as fast as, as JVM for, for this uh, FFT benchmark. Uh, and the last uh, um, operation that we benchmarked was uh, type conver conversions. Uh, so we tested converting from short to float, uh, from float to short, and from short to complex. And uh, here you can see that the uh, uh, differences were much smaller, uh, at least for short to float and uh, vice versa. Uh, and uh, short to complex, uh, so here we used uh, 
for C++, we used uh, STD complex uh, data type, which is uh, just standard library type. And for JVM, we had to uh, use external library, which was uh, Apache Mat Commons, something like this. Uh, so probably the, the difference you can you see here uh, for this conversion is just an artifact of using external library, and this could probably be done uh, a bit uh, better. Okay, uh, so concluding from the benchmarks, uh, uh, we found that uh, NDK implementation was usually around uh, twice as fast as JVM, uh, but also we found that uh, JVM is still fast enough for, for DSP, uh, and we decided uh, to go with uh, JVM uh, implementation of components uh, since uh, uh, we wanted the library to be uh, easily usable by, by uh other uh, other software so, so so that it could be easily uh, imported and used and also uh, we were much more familiar with uh, jvm ecosystem uh yes and we tested the libraries which i al already mentioned okay so uh, after the benchmarks we proceeded with the implementation of the uh, dsp blocks uh, and we implemented most of the basic uh, stuff that you would uh, probably uh, like to use for uh, DSP processing. So we have uh, down and up, uh, up samplers, uh, decimators, interpolators, resamplers, um, AM and uh, FM demodulation, uh, some file reading and writing tools, uh, FIR filters. Uh, we also re implemented uh, FFT here so that we uh, Kind of it can, it can be used in the context of the framework that uh, we came up uh, with uh, and you don't need uh, external libraries for this uh, yes and also uh, so uh, in the end we uh, uh, supported just the hacker f um, hacker f device uh, we tried to uh, cross compile uhd for android but uh, after some time of, of trying and, and failures, we decided that uh, uh, to make, uh, well, it would be faster to just uh, take the uh, HackerF uh, uh, driver that we found that was already available and it was written in pure Java and was much easier to, to use. So, uh, and it work, worked great. So uh, that's what we used. Uh, okay, so with this uh, whole set of components, uh, we, uh, we implemented the uh, NOAA uh, decoding pipeline and the, the modulation pipeline. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, the, all the components are easily composable and you can just uh, compose your pipeline uh, by defining components that uh, in turn take um, previous component uh, as their arguments and the output from the previous component is the input from the, uh, for the next one and so on, just like, like for radio blocks. Uh, and yeah, so right here you have the, the NOAA pipeline, uh, which starts with file reader. So the uh, whole application works uh, kind of in two stages. Uh, the first stage is, um, uh, so first you, you uh, record the, uh, the signal uh, and while doing this, uh, the FM demodulation is already done, and the file is uh, stored uh, on the uh, on the device. And afterwards, you uh, choose the files that you want to decode, and uh, this is the pipeline that does the the decoding uh, from the FM uh, demodulated signal, does the Hilbert transform, AM demodulation, uh, FIR filtering, and so on and so on, uh, down to the final step of writing down the uh, the image into file. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, the setup that I used uh, for this. Uh, so we have the VHF antenna for uh, APT uh, signal reception. Uh, then we use the Luna amplifier, which is uh, specifically tailored for uh, NOAA satellites. Uh, but it's possible to also use this setup without uh, LNA. Of course, with LNA, you have uh, better results. Uh, then this goes into HackerF, uh, and HackerF is connected to uh, Android device uh, with a USB OTG connector. Okay, and uh, the, the uh, final product application looks like this. So we have uh, three tabs. Uh, the first tab is uh, the capture screen where uh, 
you have the uh, FFT uh, visible so that you can uh, make sure that the that you are actually locked on the satellite since you have to follow it with your antenna. Um, and uh, you also hear the hear the, uh, the FM demodulated signal, so it's, uh, it, it makes it easier to uh, lock onto the satellite. Uh, yes, and after uh, when, once you are locked on this uh, satellite, you hit the recording button. Uh, you uh, record it until it's out of your uh, sight. Uh, it crosses the horizon, which takes, I think, around 15 minutes uh, for the whole pass. Uh, you hit uh, recording stop, and then uh, on the second tab, you have the dec decode um, functionality where you choose uh, your stored samples and you can decode them. And as a uh, result, you get the uh, picture just like the one on the right. Uh, yeah, so there's some, some more, more pictures. Uh, so uh, a lot of the time I spent uh, uh, on the sidewalk trying to ignore people looking weirdly, weirdly at me. Uh, and uh, yeah, the result was really uh, something cool for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the application is uh, um, available in the Play Store uh, for download. Uh, it currently works only with uh, uh, HackerF, uh, but this is, well, the, the, all the components are, are universal, just the data source would have to be implemented for, for different device types. Uh, Okay, beside the application, uh, we also uh, created uh, documentation for the functions in the library, and this is all hosted on the uh, on the GitLab pages. Uh, also, uh, uh, there is a guide available on GitLab pages uh, that, uh, maybe I can show it, uh, that shows you all the uh, steps or all the um, equipment needed for uh working with this application and uh, all the steps needed for for it uh, to work yeah so that's it uh, if you have any questions go ahead thank you Jacek. uh this was a really nice presentation and also by the way great to use the app uh, with Super nice experience to have an SDR on, on, on mobile. So thank you for, for uh, looking into that. And I can see that we have a question um, from Akram uh, about any insights on the reason why NBK is twice as fast. Uh, well, first of all, uh, it was quite tricky to, uh, to benchmark this. So we had a lot of uh, back and forth when, for example, we uh, found out that uh, we realized that uh, uh, JVM needs a warm-up, so uh, usually the first run is uh, much slower than the uh, next runs. Uh, but uh, well, for for uh, uh, NDK versus uh, JVM, uh, we're not sure actually. Okay, um, another question from Bob. Um, were you able to measure a relative performance of DSP on multiple system on the chips for the Android? On multiple system? Uh, yeah, system on chips uh, for Android. Uh, probably that, that's, yeah, for, for different hardware running Android. Uh, well, actually, we uh, had very limited resources here, so we only, uh, actually, well, actually, we were limited on, on time, so uh, we just uh, uh, tested this on uh, Samsung Galaxy S8, we, uh, the, and we didn't uh, check other devices other than that. Okay, any other questions for Yasset? Cool, so thank you Yasset for this uh, presentation. And